This is chapter 2-3, Deductive Reasoning. Please take your cuts. All right, to begin, conditional statements, we know there are four types. The original, the converse, the inverse, and we also have the contrapositive. Now, sometimes I don't say or won't say write the hypothesis, write the high conclusion. Conditional statements can be abbreviated where I say, the hypothesis is represented by the letter P, and the conclusion is represented by the letter Q. So instead of writing the full word out for this conditional statement, if the sun is out, comma, then the weather is good, instead of writing the hypothesis, I just put the variable P. When I write P, that means it's the hypothesis. When I write Q, the, the, the weather is good, that means it's the conclusion. So. If this statement can be written like this, if P, then Q, and this is the actual way I write it, P arrow to the right Q. So P going to Q means write the conditional statement with P, the hypothesis first, going to the conclusion second. Again, P, hypothesis, Q, conclusion. Now, the converse to write it, and we know we should remember that the converse is just switched. So now from the original statement, if I have here, so if the weather is good, then the sun is out. When I switch them, now my Q is first because I've written the conclusion first and the P second, the hypothesis. So to write that one, I'm going to simply come in here and say Q arrowhead P. And that means the conclusion first, then the hypothesis which signifies that this is the converse because we write the conclusion, then the hypothesis. So if you ever see me write Q, arrowhead, write P, that means I want you to write the converse. Continuing on. If I have a biconditional statement, remember the biconditional statement is the one with the IFF, if and only if. That's when your conditional statement and your converse agree. I write P, then I put a double arrow here at Q. So you do their if and only if. Okay? Next. Inverse statement. The inverse statement says, I use the little squiggly line to represent the inverse, either inverse or, convert, or contrapositive. But if I say squiggly line P, arrow here right, squiggly line Q, that's going to be my inverse. Remember, inverse means the not. So I'm going to write in the regular format the conditional statement with the word not because I see that squiggly line means not for the, hy the hypothesis, then the squiggly line for the not for the conclusion. And then finally, contrapositive. Contrapositive is going to agree with your conditional statement, your original statement, and squiggly line means you're not. Squiggly line again means not, but now I have the Q and then the P, which means the hypothesis well, excuse me, the conclusion and then the hypothesis. So now I have them switch because the contrapositive is both the inverse and the converse together. So the squiggly means not, and then Q is your hypothesis, P is your, excuse me, Q is your conclusion, and P is your hypothesis. Again, Q is your conclusion, and P is your hypothesis. And those are your notes.